Welcome to the Audiophile Baristas weekly vlog number 76. This is the vlog where I talk about audio, coffee and other things that keeps me busy. And what is keeping me busy today is this pile of boxes. As you know, I have had some of these Chinese equipment for the last few months and today is the last day that they are in my house. So at the bottom over there we have the Wilsonton R8, the tube amplifier. On top of that, right over there, we have the Sound Artist SA200 integrated amplifier. The two boxes over here, the left one is the LS35A loudspeaker from Sound Artist and also from Sound Artist we have the S5B. I'm doing my last bits of filming, as you can see, and today is the last day that this stuff is in my house and we're going to bring it and we is Andrew from Vintage Stereo living in the flat right over there so we have to transport all of this right over there and I've had a happy time with this I can now finish my reviews and but first we have to clean up this mess so Let's change it. And this is much better. Nice and clean. So today is a bit cold, a bit windy, a bit cloudy. Not very interesting here in Rotterdam. But what I want, I want to show you something uh, today. So my items are back. The two mono blocks and the preamplifier. And always when I am changing things, I'm always looking at the rear of the equipment to see if the cable management is still the way that I would like it. Is there anything that I would like to change? And every now and then there are things. So yesterday until late at night, I changed some of the cable management uh, behind here and I made a custom uh, cable, a custom power cable and that is a cable going from the uh, DA converter to the power regenerator well actually it's going from the power regenerator of course to the DA converter now these are very close together so you only need a short cable and the cable that I had was much too long in fact it was so long that when I when I cut it and made this short cable I even had enough to make from the same cable another one for the um, Neumann CD player to the power regenerator. So I made two cables last night. But the thing that I want to say is the cable going from here to there. And I took some pictures because it's difficult to show you behind the rack. But over here what you see is the rear of the power regenerator. You see one power cable going in and five cables going out. Now the blue one right over here is the short one going from the regenerator to the DA converter. Now the thing with this kind of stuff is that for a short cable, um, when you want to plug it in, sometimes you have to twist it because the connectors are not lined up correctly so that is what i did yesterday i like to have everything in phase that's something we do in europe maybe it's 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 a little bit different i believe in uh, america because of the different plugs that you have but if we take a look back so we have these kind of plugs here in europe and one like this on the other side. Now the thing was that at the bottom the regenerator the cable is like this straight so not sideways but like this. But for the other connector it was like this. So what I had to do is to pay attention to the way 
these two are connected and I knew I wanted to have at this connector the live wire on the left pin and over here I wanted the live wire on the bottom pin so that's what I um, so that's what I did I made sure I made it so that this one could be straight with live wire on the left side and this one could be like this with the live wire on the bottom part and then it would be perfect to connect these two together and you can't see that in the picture but now they, they are straight above each other so this blue cable is running straight and I did not have to twist it in any way because of what I just uh, told you. I have some more uh, pictures. Here you can see the five cables coming out. Now the last thing that I need to do um, is a little overview. One of the I've told you before, one of the biggest things that I hate in this hobby is, now let me say it in a different way, what I would love to have is a room where I can put a rack like this in such a way that I can just stand behind it when I want to change cables instead of having to crawl behind it in all kind of impossible uh, ways. But now the only thing that is left is that some of these cables, like you can see here, are on top of each other. Now most of them are shielded or double shielded so it's not a big problem but I'm going to put some uh, plugs into the wall so I can lay the cables on them and make sure that they have a little distance between them. That's just something that I want to do. And the last thing, well, this I can show you. Here we have the outlet, all the power starts here. We have two connectors, one only dedicated to the two power amps and the other one is dedicated for the rest. But this one is also still a little bit too long. So as you can see, there's a big bend in here. I want to make that also that it has a perfect fit, but I'm afraid this is an expensive cable, the Oya, the Toonami. I'm afraid that when I um, make it DIY, perfect fit, I'll be left with a little piece that I can't do anything with. So I'm still considering what I want to do with that. And over here, let me take this away. This cushion, by the way, is a little bit of a improvised base trap right over here. So here you can see another way to another space where I can connect all my equipment because the problem I ran into was that the power regenerator only has five outputs so now I'm using one of these outputs to connect this power brick so this gives me a lot of extra uh, connections and all these connections are the one that are not using too much uh, power So that's what I've been doing last night and it just started playing again. So now I'm going to sit, I'm going to make myself some coffee, enjoy some music and then my friend Andrew from Vintage Stereo will come with the car and will be making sure to get all the Chinese equipment into his home. Okay, so this is the end of today's vlog and last week I showed you in the 2000 subscriber video my whole list that I'm going to put out this, uh, this month. So be patient, but everything on that list will be coming out this month and I'm guessing the sound artists uh, SA200 and S5B amplifier and loudspeaker that review will be coming out next week um, so stay tuned subscribe give it a thumbs up if you like this and i'll see you next week
So we're right over here, and this, this road over here is... A mess. What the?